Hey YouTube, Dread Joker here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Halo Master Chief Collection, specifically for the Because You Begged challenge for Season 5 in the Master Chief Collection today. There's been a lot of confusion surrounding this achievement and the challenge and whatnot. Well, I can't really say achievement. There's no achievement link to it. This is a redux of the Because... of uh, the... If, you, if they came to hear me bag achievement from the original Halo Reach, which was removed from the Master Chief Collection basically at launch. So, this is going to be a bit of an explanation. Uh, after 72 hours and 900 plus successful fails, and this is how I define that, I succeeded in assassinating the Elite 900 plus times, but the damn thing just would not activate. So this clip I'm about to load up is actually what got me the challenge in the first place. And this is also to explain some of the stuff that you may have seen from uh, Mint Blitz's channel uh, and a bunch of other YouTubers going over this right now. There is significant confusion over this. So hopefully uh, this clip will explain it to you and I'll explain as we're going along. So, starting off, this is a replay. So, what I'd like to do is show you a little bit real quick. Uh, let's see if I can get the uh, camera to go free camera. Nope. Okay, so up on the ledge back there, you're supposed to start at the level Pillar of Autumn. And once we go through this clip, I'll show you how to do it a little faster. So you can see here, I got another fail jump killed the elite but here we go did not trigger reset jump trigger fail this goes on for quite a while as you can see on the timer on screen now one of the things like I started getting experimental with this stuff like really late in I really did another fail miss the target entirely But the thing is, it is actually possible to do it, and one of the videos I had started watching mentioned that the fall mechanics, that if you had, for example, punched the ground at all, you will survive almost any fall 9 out of 10 times. Can't remember exactly where in this clip it was that I started testing this, but I, after three days, I was furious. Like, it got to the point where a lot of people I've been talking to have referred to this as the beggar's curse, because... Okay, so here's where it starts. This is where I start testing it. So I look down, look down, look down, die immediately here. But that's because I got the timing wrong. So I'm going to try it again, you know, melee, and I survived the fall. So, then I started thinking, okay, well maybe I can't look down. One of the things that I have noticed in this game is that A, the physics are uh, insane. This I was looking slightly at the ground and when I landed I wouldn't have died anyways. Because this challenge, in order to do it, you have to survive a fall that would normally kill you immediately upon landing but you have to do it by assassinating this elite. Now, depending on what the game feels like, this elite can be literally any color, any rank. It's just, it has to be the elite at this section. This is the one of the only two spots in the game that will kill you via fall. The other one is way more complicated. So this was not the one that gave it to me. But then I thought, okay, well, maybe I don't have to be looking at the... Maybe I just have to be looking at the Elite, and that's where I failed again. This is where I decided to look up really quickly. Let's back that up a little bit, and let me go back into first person. So, let's go frame by frame. Like, here you can see I'm still glancing at the ground. Would still trigger the assassination in animation, but didn't give it to me. 
going even slower. I decided really quickly after failing that one because I overshot that one. I thought maybe you have to be looking slightly up. And that's what did it. Like you can see right there. That triggered it. And right here at the end of the clip, that is what gave me the animation. Or that that's what gave me the little bit of the challenge. Now, I'm going to show you how to set this up because a lot of other YouTubers have covered this and I actually had to consult their videos on this myself. So we're going to go into campaigns, Halo Reach, missions. The difficulty on this literally does not matter. It just has to be the Pillar of Autumn. First checkpoint can be easy, any difficulty. Skulls do not matter. I'm just going to get this loaded up real quick, and as you can see, I do have the old nameplate up there from a couple seasons ago. Really fun, nice little amusing little nameplate to get. Now, this is at literally the beginning of the mission. So, uh, I'm just going to give some friendly advice. Uh, start jumping and start meleeing. This will delay the checkpoints, and because you cannot gain uh, a checkpoint while you're in the air or throwing a punch. Wait for the audio to uh, for Emil and uh, Carter to shut the hell up because uh, otherwise you're going to hear them a lot and yeah, after uh, 700 plus times I hate this level now. So now I've got the checkpoint. I've got him right standing there. Now what you want to do because there's an, a lovely very bad glitch in this level. What you want to do is now save and quit. The reason why you want to do this is because if you don't save and quit after several failed attempts, the level will crash and restart the entire position. And this is where I forget my own buttons. So you want to go back out to the main menu, campaigns, now hit resume. <coughs> Excuse me. This is going to prevent the game from throwing you back to the start of the level to that previous checkpoint. What I think happens is the checkpoint data gets corrupted, which would not be the first time. And then from here, you're going to want to jump and see if you can land that. I, having so much practice, this is now significantly easy for me. So let me just do that again. Let me show you. And alley-oop. Does not matter. Just has to be a survivable fall. And now when you do that, you want to be aiming slightly up, as I showed you in the... Thing. So if you're aiming, like if, you, if he's right about here, make sure you're aiming somewhere in this general area where my reticle is. That should help you out a little bit. Now what works for you might not work for the next person, so trial and error is involved. This challenge is completely random. Now some other players in the game, they have actually managed to get this to happen at two other levels. One of them is very, very complicated. So, tip of the spear, Rally Point Charlie. This is the part where you get access to the jetpack for the first time in the game. You have to do the turret section, but then once you get to the shield, then you crash and you can start it from there. Now, you can do it here. It is way, way harder. So... Pillar of Autumn is your best bet. Now, other people, they've actually managed to get it here on uh, Nightfall. But this one, you have to do it on Legendary. And Skulls do not matter. I'm just going to disable them so I can show you. There are a lot of things at work here, but Nightfall is probably the weirdest example of it. So, this is also going to be a bit of another challenge uh, off the beaten path because off the beaten path can be completed here on nightfall in about 20 seconds so for uh off the beaten path just simply turn right come all the way back here let me turn night vision on so you can see easier there's going to be this data pad shortly around open this pad close and repeat just start button mashing, and it will give you the challenge immediately within about 30 seconds. 
Now, the next section we're going to be doing is up here. This is where some other people have gotten it to spawn. So there's the checkpoint. And he moved. So what we're going to do is now restart the level because this is not where you want him at all. So that elite is supposed to be standing at a very specific spot. And he's supposed to be standing right there. So you come up, melee him, do not assassinate him, that will alert everybody. Then down here, jump, there's another elite. That elite is the one that most people would try for, and I accidentally assassinated him. But, as you can see, like, you can still trigger it here too, but this is the most unreliable spot in the game. So, Pillar of Autumn, very much just keep at it. it. 343 has been made aware of this, and their response was to try not using Sprint. There's only one other level in the game you can do that on, and it's the setup is extremely complicated and convoluted. So, with any luck, this will help you for the, uh, for the Halo Reach... Uh, challenge. This is, of course, for the Mr. Chief helmet. This helmet, uh, after, you know, 900 plus attempts, uh, I'm very happy to say I can no longer be taken seriously in Halo Reach anymore. Ever. So, I s sincerely hope this guide has helped you out a little bit, and with any luck, you won't have any amount of trouble like I have had in the last few days. Thank you for watching, and please, if you find anything else that will help the community, please make your own videos, share the information, anything we can learn to help make this more consistent will greatly help out. Thank you for watching.